Hey, how's it going YouTube? Welcome to my guide on how to solo EXP farm Black Rose Prison or carry a low level so they can hit CP fast. I'll talk over the method I use and cover the gear CP skills I use for this particular farm. As a disclaimer, this method is not very new player friendly and there are some minimum requirements to be able to solo this or carry somebody, but it becomes a lot easier if two people can contribute rather than one. For the sake of this video, I will be talking over the solo version and how to solo carry in Black Rose Prison. Black Rose Prison is an arena located in Merkmire. If you don't have the corresponding DLC, you'll need to have ESO Plus to have access to it. This arena has five total stages with four rounds. And for the sake of EXP farming, we're gonna be doing round two of the first stage because of its abundance of mobs. In the game of ESO, arenas, when run with under four people, at most optimal at two, they give tremendous experience for some weird reason. And for the concept of this EXP farm we're gonna be utilizing that so once you clear out the first round you want to start off in the most southeast section of the map and that's where the mage spawns this is also a good indicator to know when you've hit round two and if you're carrying anybody you want to make sure that they stack there with you the stacking allows the archers that spawn in the later waves to not aggro on them. Once you kill the mage and all the adds that spawn on that wave, you want to rinse and repeat until you get to the very end. And there's going to be a tanky add with a sword and board with four archers. Kill the four archers. And then you want to grab the red sigil so that the person you're with, if you're running with somebody, can get an instant respawn. And you can skip the ghost phase if you're solo. And if you're solo, just ignore that and die and then respawn. I want to preface by saying that change is absolutely necessary to do this effectively. This can be from your class or from the fighter's guild skill, it does not matter. And with that being said, here is the step by step. So a typical run would look something like this. You want to throw down your dots where the mage spawns. And then there's going to be an archer in the north of the mage. Grab that archer and then there's going to be one on your right. You can grab that middle light if you'd like, AOE them all down. Once you clear this wave, you're going to start off with your AoEs down where the mage was again and grab the archer in the same spot as last time. And then there's going to be one more archer that comes towards the center and then four adds, I believe, on top of that. So you're going to have six or seven adds here, AoE them all down. Once you AoE them all down, just throw your dots down again like you've been doing. Grab the archer in the back, grab the two archers that come in the center. This round is... Sorry, this wave is only archers. Kill all the archers. Once you do that, grab the res sigil to res whoever you're carrying, or if you're alone, just die. And then here I use spell symmetry to speed up my death process so that I can save some time. And that is what a typical run looks like. So for the skills I'm running, I'm running Shock Ring, Scalding Rune, Inner Light, Streak, Silver Leash, Ice Comet, Lightning Flood, Elemental Blockade, Crit Surge, Boundless Storm, Spell Symmetry, and Fire Your Rage. For the gear, I'm running five pieces of False God, five pieces of Medusa, paired with a Pale Order and a one piece Slime Crawl. I'd also like to add that build doesn't really matter as long as you're survivable enough, have chains, and have enough AoEs and DPS to be able to kill everything efficiently. As per usual, closing thoughts. My favorite classes to do this are probably going to be Magplar and Magsork. I like Magplar because of their abundance of dots, but I do like Magsork for their survivability. Uh, the easiest class might actually be Magsork. Uh, that's when I first started doing it and testing builds for this. Uh, in this clip, there's going to be three people in here, but because of the event going on, there wasn't really that big of an EXP penalty. But you definitely don't want more than two people, otherwise I believe the EXP penalty is about 100%, so that's not recommended. Just in reference to how long it takes, I believe uh, 1 to 50 is a little bit over an hour, but that's with optimum gear, 150% EXP boost, and or any event EXP boost we may have. Uh, that wraps up my guide for Black Rose Prison. As always, thanks for watching my video, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if this video helped you in any way, please help the channel grow by subscribing and liking the video. And once again, thank you.